Hey, good morning everybody. Uh, hey, it's been a while since I've done another treehouse episode, so it is time. Listen, it's gorgeous uh, where I'm at. It is like a balmy 74 with no humidity, so I need, while this is rendering, to get out. Listen, I'm going to head out to the uh, IMA, the Indianapolis Museum of Art, which is really close to me. They are doing some really cool stuff with uh, some artists, slash sculptures, slash uh, some like miniature golf. Long story short, let's head out today. Um, it's been a while. Come along with me. It should be fun. Uh, it's gonna be hot though, but it'll be actually it's gonna be gorgeous. Follow me. We are out here at the IMA, um, well, the Indianapolis Museum of Art, which is really close to me, which I love coming out because my friend Stephanie Perry here ah. invited us to come out because I was super intrigued by what's happening behind us. So let's just start with that. What is going on, Stephanie? Yeah, so this is mini golf at the IMA. This is our artist design mini golf course okay. debuting on Memorial Day weekend. Wow, okay, so we, as you can see in the background, we're gonna go around and talk to some of the artists. So yeah, what sparked this? What what kind of, I mean, the perfect space for it. Yeah, but, so yeah. this is actually the second year we did this, um, but it's a brand new course this year. So 18 new holes, um, they are all based around nature. Last year's theme was bicentennial. Okay. Uh, so we are super excited to have it. It's a great way to interact with art in a new way. You know, there's oh, yeah. a piece of art that you're looking at that's beautiful and then you get to play golf with it. All right, well, we're here with Jeremy Shubrook, and by the way, thanks for taking some time telling us about this. So you're are welcome. you, what, yeah, tell me, I think you're pretty new to the IMA then? That's correct, I've just been here about three and a half months. I'm the new director of performance, uh, festivals, and public programs. Awesome, so tell me, um, do you have any background, like what got you interested in So I'm project? actually, my background in the last 10 years is actually in technical theater and production in a performing arts center, but I've also worked in an art museum before. Okay. This is very interesting to me because it has a lot of the similarities of like set design, so. Oh yeah, except, yeah, just the noises out here right, right. now, exactly. it feels it's like, like set building design. a show, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So tell me about that, because really, I'm trying to put my mind around the fact that these are like pieces of art that have been, Correct. like, there was a process, right, to even get involved sure. in this? So how so, that work? So the way that it works is we put an open call for submissions almost a year ago actually. Oh really? For this year's course. This is the second year we're doing the course and there were 50 to 60 submissions. Okay. There was a team on site that helped decide which submissions were selected and they were selected based on playability. So right. that, you know they had to give us a conceptual design of how the course would be played, what the par might be. So playability, materials, and adherence to the theme. And this year the theme is the natural world. Okay. So, I am here with uh, Jason and Veronica, right? Yes. So tell us a little bit about, I know you're standing by the work of art, and I'm sorry for interrupting <laughs> you guys, but this is really awesome and colorful. So, well first, what's your background? How'd you get interested in this? Um, I'm an architect, and then Veronica works at the museum. Yes, I'm a tra and I'm a trained designer, so. Oh, okay, architect, cool. So, yeah. Yeah. Tell us about this piece. I mean, it literally is a, an artwork in progress here. What's <laughs> going on? It's quite large. Yeah. Um, well, it's called Water Play. It's based on Indiana Waterways, and what we did is the color scheme is based on uh, a, per, a piece in our permanent collection here at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. And so we start at the beginning and okay. um, everything is in all of these blues. And every, all of these were cut with the CNC router that we actually have in our basement. Ooh, you gotta, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, these are the fiberglass cattails. And these were also cut with the CNC router by Jason. Um, we have some rocks that were cast in concrete. We did oh, wow, some really? for that, which is pretty cool. Huh. Our conceptual beaver lodge, which I was is... I was wondering what it is. Okay, it's abstract. I like yeah, it. I like it's, it. It's, it's made of Ipe, so... All right, I'm here with Luke Crawley. Super nice to meet you, man. You too. You well, too. Okay, so somebody just told us, fellow... Art, are you art teacher? What do you do? I'm actually a, a science and math teacher. Are you really? At University High School in Carmel. Oh yeah, okay, nice. Well, so okay, I'm gonna imagine that something with your background brought to this. This is like by far one of the most colorful and really interesting. Just oh, tell me you. about this whole entire whole. Uh, yeah, so another half of my life I do some public art projects with another, another artist, Quincy Owens, and I kind of do a bunch of sound art stuff and some music things. And so the whole inspiration for this was to have the golf ball the hole and make some sounds from some natural natural instruments. Okay. So we have some kind of simulated um, early log uh, slit drums or tongue drums. Oh yeah, okay. um, with the cutout. Yeah. Yeah, and so there'll be some mallets around where people can play the pitches at the tops, and then the golf ball can hit the bottoms. Okay. Uh, I've got some gourds with hollowed out with some beads in them that they'll be able to strike, and then the the aluminum chimes the golf ball will also be able to. Oh, yeah. You know, make some sounds from and 
really cool. Mm, well, how long will it take for them to all get set up? Yeah, so we'll be done this week. It takes just a few days. Um, and then we'll put finishing touches on the course. We'll get our clubhouse set up, which is where you'll get your hot dogs and your beer. Right. And, um, and then we'll debut it on Memorial Day weekend. So coming awesome. up right here. And it runs through Labor Day, so you have all summer to all right, play. Cool. Really cool. Well, thanks for, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. It. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Hey, did you know that subscribing to our channel is one of the most epic things you can do? That's right, subscribe now, share our episodes, so that we can actually make more of these things. I'm not gonna lie, I love showing you where creativity and innovation are happening. Get on board and be outrageous.